Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholarcy here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Scholarcy and Zotero within your study routine and why you might want to. So let's start by talking about what Zotero is and why it might be useful to use alongside Scholarcy in your study routine. So what Zotero is, is it's a citation management tool. So you can use this to store a list of papers and it'll make it very easy for you to cite them in any report that you write. So let's say I've done my literature search and I found this paper I've screened it using the Scholarly Browser extension and I've decided that it's worth citing when I write my report later on. All I have to do to make my life much easier is sign into Zotero, add the browser extension and click the icon here and it will save it now to my open library. So if I go onto my Zotero client side version, you can see it's added the paper here that I've just viewed on the screen. So it's really easy to read a paper, screen it with Scholarly, then immediately add it over to my Zotero library. Now, before you can upload your papers to Scholarcy directly from Zotero, you need to make sure that you've got your Zotero integration with your Scholarcy account. So to do this, you need to head over to Profile and double check that you've got the Zotero configuration connected here. If you haven't done this, don't worry, we've got a tutorial on this. I'll pop it in the top corner so you can look at that now. After you've screened a series of papers using the Scholarcy browser extension and you've gathered them into their own library within Zotero, it can be handy to upload all of these papers to Scholarcy so you can take a deep dive into them before you cite them in your report. You can use the Zotero integration to upload to Scholarcy, but before you do that, it's worth checking that they've synchronised from your client side version to the online library. Sometimes there can be the odd mistake, which will cause an error, and you'll see that in the top right hand corner. Since you can see the sync button on mine, you can see that it's all clear and everything's ready to go. So now that we've gathered a series of papers, I'm going to show you how you can upload them from Zotero into Scholarcy. So I have an empty folder here, which I'm going to click on. And from within this, I'm going to click on Import. And from down here, I can go on to the drop down that says From the Web or Cloud Storage. I'm going to click on Zotero. And after a second or two, I'll load up all of my folders. I can click onto the folder I'd like to upload the papers from. And if I want to upload just one or two of them, I can select them manually here. I can click on this button to select all of them. Once I'm ready to go, I can click on to import and I'll upload into my folder. So now that the upload's finished, we can jump into any of the flashcards that we like. And if you want to take a deep dive, Spotlight feature is absolutely perfect for this. We can look at the important points at our own pace. There is another way that you can import your Zotero library into Scholarcy, and this is the RAS import. You can export all of your papers in the RAS format from Zotero, which you can then drag and drop upload into Scholarcy, just like any other file type. To generate this file type, all we have to do is right click onto the library that you'd like to export, click onto Export Collection, and then from the drop down here, select RAS, click on OK, and then you're going to upload that file once you've downloaded it into Scholarcy. If you've performed a literature search and you've gathered a series of papers inside your Scholarcy library account, but not your Zotero library, and you wish to cite these in your report, you can get them from Scholarcy into Zotero by exporting all of the papers in the RES format, which you can then import to Zotero to make it much easier to cite them when it comes to writing. Here's how you can do it. So let's start by clicking on Move, Export and Delete, Export Documents, and then from there you can go through and select any of the papers that you'd like or all of them by clicking this button. What you need to do next is from the drop down option select RES then from here click export selected. All you have to do now is wait for the file to download, upload it into Zotero and then you're ready to go. So now it's downloaded I can click onto it here and it will in the background import them all to Zotero after I click on OK and then we're ready to go. So just like that they're imported into Zotero, and if we want to, we can rename the collection by right-clicking, going on Rename Collection, typing whatever we'd like, and clicking on OK. Now, super easy, you can cite all of these papers in your report as and when needed. So, to recap, we've talked about how Scholarcy and Zotero can be used alongside each other to make it easier for you to review literature and then cite any papers in your report later on. Hopefully this is super helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.